Hi guys! So I kind of can't even believe I'm saying this, but it is almost the season for Christmas and December product releases, um, and the whole scrappy world goes a little crazy. I thought I'd jump on today and share with you how I keep my Christmas and December memories. So I don't do it daily. I knew that wasn't something I was really interested in keeping up with, but I've always loved the idea of having a special album that you pull out only at Christmas and just kind of flip through. It has all your memories and everything from years past. And so I decided what I wanted to do was keep an annual album. So I still have December in my Project Life albums and before that in my traditional scrapbooking albums. And every year the idea was once I catch up on this album, every year I'll just add a couple more pages to the end with the, that year's Christmas. So I decided to start in 2006, which was my partner and my first Christmas together. It was my first Christmas in the UK, and it was just kind of a new chapter in life. So it seemed like a good place to start, and that's where this album starts. I do eventually want to go back and do my Christmases before that piecing together. There's not as many pictures, but I think there's enough to do a page per year. And so, yeah, I just thought I'd show you today a flip through of where this album stands. It's very much an in-progress album. I'm hoping to attack a couple more years this year. Ideally, what I like to do is the previous year's Christmas and one other Christmas. So catching up kind of slowly one extra year at a time. And that's typically what I catch up on during December. So instead of trying to keep up with the Christmas I'm currently doing, I try to do the year before. And then once that's done, an extra year. So I get to still play with my Christmas products. I still get to play around with the Christmas inspiration that's out there in the community. Um, but I don't have to try to keep up with printing and sorting and editing and everything, the photos from the events that are happening right at the same time. And then this also builds off of the idea for Scrappy Christmas in July, I typically do the previous year's December Project Life pages. So they're a little bit fresher, six months out at that point and get everything kind of organized as far as dates and places and events. And then when I go to do this album, it's just much easier. So I thought I'd just go ahead and give you a flip through and here we go. I do apologize for the glare, it is all in pocket pages, but we'll do our best here. So in the front, I just have a kind of normal pocket that has um, a Christmas card for a year that I haven't sorted out yet. It has, you know, some extra cards that I'd pulled out of other pages when I made them. Some extra, like, silhouette cuts I'd made. I just throw little bits of Christmassy things in there so they don't get lost. And then we jump right in. Like I said, this album starts in 2006, which is kind of the adult chapter of my life, I guess. And so there's not as many pictures, but there is quite a few. So this is my first year in the UK. I've got, you know, some snow pictures. Um, some Swansea Christmas pictures, and then when you go to the back, I have a place to put the ornament for that year, which I have to, um, I try when I dig out the Christmas ornaments every year to, you know, take a couple pictures of my missing ones to fill in some of those gaps, and just different things from Christmas. At this point, I was doing traditional scrapbooking. Um, now, I would say when I'm doing Project Life, there's probably four or five pages for December, and a lot of these pictures will be repeats, so I do try to pick out specifically the ones that are Christmas related, like super Christmassy, super wintery, so Christmas parties, Christmas events, Christmas decorations, that kind of thing, just to kind of see how they change over the years. So 2006 is a front and a back. And that's kind of the the template I'm trying to work off of every year, where the year will be on a right-hand side page, and then if there's additional, it will go to the left, but it's always going to end on the left, so the next year starts on the right-hand side. So you can see 2007, the only picture I have so far is the ornament. I need to go back through my scrapbooks and my digital photos and find some pictures to fill in there. 2008 has some pictures. 2009, I started last year using Elif Sahin's um, release for that year, and I will, was it called Home for the Holidays? It might have been. Um, and so I made this page as a design team assignment, and then I did go ahead and 
fill in all of the rest of the pages for 2009. So within a year, I try to make everything kind of coordinate, but then I'm not super concerned between years. So what I'll do is every year that's finished or has product in it, I'll try to mark it down below with the year and then at least the company or the collection if there's a link to a digital collection. If there's anything that stands out to you, you can go ahead and get. So this one is great. This is a really good example of what I have going on. The first page done and then filled in the rest and now I just need to sit down at some point and do this. So this is definitely a contender for this year because I just need to do some journaling, some minimal embellishments. You can see like this label's already been stuck down but that label's just stuck into the pocket. There's some stickers on here labeling the different foods but I just need to stamp the numbers onto the card. So it's got to be more than half done. I'd say like 60% done. So this is definitely a contender to work on this year. And that goes through here to the back. And then we have 2010, which it looks like we spent in the States. And we do travel quite a lot over Christmas. I'm from the States. Ken is from Ireland. We live in Wales. Um, we spend a lot of time in Egypt. So we kind of left the option of that being open. Uh, I lived in Germany for a while. So... I love having this together as a really just quick flip through of, oh yeah, we were here this year or we were here that year. So 2010, got a few pictures in here. We were, we were in Wisconsin for Christmas that year. And I do try to buy an ornament every year that signifies the place that we were for Christmas or a big trip we took that year. So Wisconsin that year, we bought the Bucky ornament, 2010. I do feel like there should be me maybe a few more pictures for that. So I'll have to go through and see if I can find some more 2010 pictures. 2011 and 2012 don't have any pictures at all. I'll still have to go back through and see what I can find for those. Um, I do feel like this year, 2021, I am not in the mood to print, find, edit, organize photos. Those ones will probably be left for another time. I have a lot of printing and organizing projects going on right now, and I'm just not looking forward to adding another one for Christmas. So I'll probably skip those years this year and just do something that I already have set out. So 2013 is the year I decided to make this album. So that was about the time where... I was about three years into project life, very into um, the pocket scrapbooking world. By that point, December Dealey, Document December, those kind of projects were getting kind of huge. And I knew I didn't want to do a daily album. But like I said, I loved the idea of having a one album or a couple albums you pull out at Christmas time. You can flip through and get an overview of all your years of Christmases. And so I decided this is how I was going to do it. So 2013, I was really conscious of taking pictures. It looks like we were in Wisconsin that year too. Um, I have a little gift tag from the wrapping paper we used that year. I have some decorations, uh, Christmas events, cookies. That was our Christmas card we sent that year. Yeah, just different things. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Uh, and that's a piece of our wrapping paper from that year and then a few last Christmassy events. So then, even though this was the year I decided I really wanted to work on this project, I hadn't quite got into, um, I hadn't quite got into my routine of printing directly onto already printed cards. Um, so that was a little bit of a struggle for me. I was mostly doing digital files that I printed with the writing already on them. And I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do, so I didn't get very far. But I did start filling things in. And then for 2014, I got to a similar level. So I have all the cards in and a bunch of post-it notes telling me what I wanted to say, but I haven't actually done them yet. So I have a piece of wrapping paper here. Um, we were in Wales for this point, different Christmas events, some Christmas drinks, lots and lots of pumpkin spice lattes that year. It might have been one of the first years that they had pumpkin spice lattes in the UK. Um, I do like to put different apps and social media kind of meme type things, things that are popular for the year in there. So this was one where you use your name to make a personalized snowflake. I'm going to have a gift tag from that year. 
I have our Christmas cards, and then it looks like we went up to Ireland for Christmas itself. So our Christmas card there, our ornament, which is Ireland, and then the rest of Christmas. Um, this is actually something I cut for my project life, and it says Munich. It's an Allie Edwards cut file, or digital file, and I'd cut a few different sizes. So I just stuck it in a baggie and stuck it in here, because this year starts in Munich for Christmas. Um, and I still need to do it. And you can see here, by the time you hear, like, these are just pictures stuck into the pocket. Um, so I would like this year to at least kind of get those organized and set out. So when I come back to it next year or whenever, it's it's already laid out there. And I can kind of see what I have and what I want to work with. Um, that was our Christmas card from the year. And then, yeah, so I started in Germany and then we flew to... Wisconsin for Christmas that year and then the next year I actually spent Christmas in Germany and my mom and my sister came and visit so uh, we did tons of Christmassy things there I've kind of started laying it out and this is one in general I try not to undo things I've already done so if I've already put the cards in there these ones are wrapping paper which is fun but I've already put the cards in there I try not to take them out and do something else but I think 2014 I might Sorry, 2015? Apparently I stopped labeling these at some point. 14, 15, 16. Okay, so this is 2016. Yeah. So in 2016, I had kind of reached the point, especially with my um, physical Project Life cards, where they were the rounded cornered ones. And I was like, well, if I'm not going to start using them, I need to get rid of them. So I did try to start using them ultimately decided I didn't really like it that much and so I ended up getting rid of them. Uh, I sold them on the internet and so now I only have kind of square cornered printout of Project Life collections and so I might redo some like I might I have the journaling here already and I love that but I might go ahead and pull um I might go ahead and redo some of those just so it's a little bit more my style when I go to finish it up. This page in particular I wanted to point out because the whole spread is dedicated entirely to different places in Munich that I drink Glühwein, uh, which is a mulled spice wine that's very like common outdoor drink in Germany. And my goal was to go to 14 different Christmas markets and have Glühwein. And I think I ended up, no, my goal was to do 12 and I think I ended up at 14. So that was a really fun thing. Uh, I have a lot of these pictures in my project life kind of scattered throughout the day that they occurred or the place that they occurred. And I really like just having the whole look of it here. So that's definitely something that I gave myself liberty to add to this is if I have a real like theme for a year, I can go ahead and do that. So let's see, still, still 2016, me, mom, Jamie, Ken came to Munich too, spent Christmas there. Lots and lots of Christmas in Germany things. So 2016, 2017 is just stuck in pockets here. So we have Christmas cards, we've got some tags, um, and then all of the photos are just stuck in there. So again, uh, if I do kind of nothing else this year, I'd really like to get these at least into their pocket pages so that it's you know laid out a little bit better and organized. So 2018, 2018 was the first year, well, I rather 2019 was the year I decided that I wanted to work on this album during the Christmas season to kind of get in the, the Christmas mood. And so I decided to do the year before. That's when I decided to start doing that kind of policy. So I did 2018 in 2019. So again, we are in Wisconsin. Um, there seems to be a lot of Wisconsin ones, but there's a lot also like this one is in Ireland. So when I lay that out, then I'll start saying this one was in Ireland and things like that. Um, but yeah, so 2018 was in Wisconsin and this kind of solidifies my idea of what I want to do here. So I have the year, I have the place, in this case it was Wisconsin. I have our ornament from the year. I have some Christmas pictures. Um, different things. I have our wrapping paper in this little pocket here, which I actually really love and have some more ideas for. Different events we did, some ornaments we made, some crazy clothes I have. Um, these are our Christmas card for the year, and I just put a little pom-pom trim on the edge of it because it was cute. I have some 
gifts I made, uh, some tickets from a Christmas event we went to, and just, yeah, lots of Christmassy, fun, good times. And I really like, now that I have, you know, one page that's actually done and solidified, I really love how it came together. And so it's really kind of inspired me to keep going here. So if we go back to the beginning of that one, um, this one is, it looks like a lot of Allie Edwards December Daily type products um, and other Allie Edward products. We have some, I think those are crepe paper tags. Uh, we have some Ellie Studio Puffy stickers. So yeah, just a mix and match of things. Um, I do try to kind of keep somewhat consistent throughout a single year, but like I said, I, I do allow myself to kind of mix and match throughout the years. So then going on to 2019, I used almost entirely Ellie Studio, it looks like. The stamps might be somewhat different. But anyway, I started with the Ellie Studio kind of Christmas releases. I went through my stash for some more kind of generic type cards to fill in. And I just went ahead and filled pockets with Christmassy goodness. So this was my advent calendar for the year. Again, my kind of crazy outfit. Um, I think it was December 1st. So I'm wearing a Christmas dress, Christmas leggings, and Christmas socks because it was December 1st. Um kind of a social media meme thing you could do. Everyone was doing that year where they made a picture of their family in front of the fireplace. Um, let's see, our ornament from that year. We had gone to Prague. This is kind of cool, so let's see if I can... This was our Christmas card for the year, and it was pretty big, and it was in Welsh. And so what I did was I cut down the front, so you had like essentially the card itself. And then on the inside, it had the Christmas greetings in Welsh and English. And so I just cut them out into strips and then put them on this acetate over the top. So I've still got the essence of our card here, but it takes up less room and it fits in this pocket. In a perfect world, I wanna keep my layers fairly flat and 12 by 12 because then I'll be able to fit more pages into this album. So yeah, then we went to Ireland, some Christmas there, lots of just Christmassy stuff in Ireland, um, a new movie that came out that I really liked, another kind of social media meme thing, and then 2020, which was, of course, a very COVID Christmas, and so I haven't done this one yet. I'll probably tackle it this year. I did collect quite a lot of, like, COVID Christmas-specific products last year, um, so this one should come together fairly easily. And so 2020, even though it was... Even though it was a quiet year, we just stayed at home like we had been for the last eight months or so. Um, I did manage to get two pages worth of pictures. So again, we have our ornament of the year and a mask, uh, social media that included like a Christmas mask. Um, there was a new chocolate added to like the traditional chocolate boxes. So I added that in there. Um, I always love to take screenshots of the Santa tracker when it's over places that you know are that are significant to me but this year both Santa and the reindeer were wearing masks so I made sure to get kind of close-up pictures of that um, just a lot of like Christmas on zoom uh, masks in front of the tree this also makes me laugh because we ended up not putting any ornaments on our tree this year so I'll definitely have to put a story about that I put up the tree during the election on election night because I had a lot of time to kill. So that was like the beginning of November and then I never put the rest of the ornaments on the tree. So our 2020 ornament was the only ornament on the tree that year, which kind of seemed correct. And then yeah, more Zoom Christmases, more masks, and just... So that is where we stand after this year, obviously, I'll have another page to add. And I'm hoping to pick a couple of these to work on this year with the new Document December Christmas release products of all different types and brands, um, especially Ellie Studio and Nellie and Klim and Elif Sahin Designs because I'm on their design teams. So you'll definitely see me, you'll definitely see me choose one of these years, pull it out and start working on it, hopefully finish working on it, complete the year. And I thought it would be good, helpful at first to give you an overview of how the album all works together. And then also 
what the objectives are and the idea that just because everyone else in the world seems to be making a six by eight daily December album doesn't mean you have to like if you love the products and you love the idea but it's just not your jam like just do what you want so I like making 12 by 12 pocket pages so I decided I was going to make a 12 by 12 Christmas themed pocket page album and even in this state like there's years without photos there's only two years I think that are actually done done. Um, hopefully we can change that bit. But like even in the state, it's just so much fun to flip through. Don't have any 11 and 12 pictures. I know they're there somewhere. I'll have to find them. But but I have 10 and I have 13. Like it's just, this is so fun. I just really love it. I make a point now of after I edit all of my December pictures for Project Life, I just go through and pick a copy of what I want for each thing for this album. And so it gets printed right away and stuck in there. And yeah, just so fun. So much potential. So fun to use the different products I'm getting. So fun to be able to use them right away. So because I don't normally do Project Life in the time period, and I often go back and do it. I always, I'll always go back and do it, actually. Um, because I don't approach it on a week-by-week -week basis in the sense that I'm doing it the immediately following week. It's really fun to be able to go, okay, well, I just got this December kit or this Christmas-themed kit or this snow kit, and I want to use it right away. So I can just come in here and pick a year, pull it out, and start playing with it. And it doesn't matter if it's August or... January or you know middle of December just whenever I decide I want to start playing with things or I get the itch to do a Christmas page they're always in here to play with so that is my Christmas album um, I hope you enjoyed that little peek and I hope you're looking forward to seeing what pages I make this year because I'm really looking forward to jumping in so thanks for hanging in there for this walk down Christmas past hopefully we will see you soon